Hello everyone, we are eating at Liberty Tree Tavern. This is the first time that we've ever been here. They have a family style menu or eating procedure. Anyway, all you can, all you care to enjoy, basically just like, what's the place over at Wilderness Lodge? Just like Whispering Canyon Cafe, so that's what we're doing. They actually have uh, regular food that you can order, like appetizers and entrees and desserts. Whispering Canyon's like that too. But we're doing all you care to enjoy because we're hungry and we just finished running, so that's what we're doing. All right, so uh, with the all you care to enjoy, the first thing that comes out is the bread and the salad. Red rolls look uh, pretty good. <laughs> Let's drop them off. They're soft. The oh, butter, here's the official test. Uh, the, the butter is like whipped, so uh, easily spreadable. Oh. Way too much honey in that. I don't like it. Salad is like a regular uh, house salad, tomatoes, cucumbers, everything that comes on it, and it looks like an Italian dressing. Pretty good. So I've been freezing all day. This bread is nice and warm, and I'm starving, so this bread just looks really good. Guys, you okay? Yes. This is a ton of food. Like, <laughs> this is a lot of food for two people. Turkey. Stuffing. Uh, That's pork. Pork. Roast beef. Roast beef. Or pot roast. There's stuffing in here. We have green beans, macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, and this huge thing of gravy. Looks really good. Food is really good here. This was very similar to Garden Grill in Epcot. However, I liked how this was served a little bit better, like how it was plated. So they basically had all the meat and the stuffing on one plate, and then they had all the rest of the sides in separate dishes. And then they actually brought us out like a whole gravy boat instead of just the little bit that came on the meat, which I really liked that. This was a huge meal. Food was really good. If you are in Disney World around Thanksgiving time, this would actually be a good place to come for a Thanksgiving meal because this is very similar to what you would eat for Thanksgiving. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is getting uh, a lot louder in here. Uh, I think we sat down right around noon. It's getting really loud in here. It's, this is a very loud restaurant, but it's still nice. I actually wouldn't mind coming back here to eat again. It has a very colonial like feel to it. Very, I almost want to say like northeastern kind of. It, it's very yeah. similar to um, Columbia Harbor House. Yeah, Columbia Harbor House, but has that more older colonial features, which is everything around us. We'll get beat involved with that. The colonial features. Yeah, food was really good. They brought out the turkey, the pork, and the roast beef. Taylor ate the roast beef. I had the pork and the turkey. And the turkey, I mean, the turkey was like huge slices of turkey. And the pork was super tender, pulled apart very easily. Stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy. I mean, it was all very good. So I would definitely recommend coming here, trying it out. It's only $35. For all you can eat. For basically all you can eat. Now that is per person, uh, but I still think that that's I think that that's reasonable. For Disney, so, that's an average I mean, for, price. For Disney, yeah, for a sit down lunch, I think that's reasonable. Thirty five dollars a person. It includes drinks. We still have a dessert coming. I don't remember what it was. But I could barely. I'm, I don't even know if I can really eat it. Good. This is like a toffee ice cream sundae. I honestly don't know if I like toffee, but that is amazing. <laughs> I enjoy this, even though I'm freezing. Club. So I think that might be the quickest dining review that we have ever done. I won't know until we edit it later, but... Yeah. yeah, pretty short. We're tired. We just got done running, so we're ready to get out of here. And now our bellies are full, yeah. and it's time for a nap. Like an eight-hour nap, if that's yeah. even possible. Because I guess we've got to get back up at 2.30. Yeah, we're going to sleep until we have to get up again tomorrow morning. 2.30 <laughs> in the morning. Be back at Epcot at 3.30.